some people would probably describe you as quite a complex character yeah. and then others would say that's not the fact that you're quite a simple man so tell us a little bit about who is Ross Harrison yeah uh, let's start um, yeah basically born in Bolton uh, moved to Lynn when I was young um, sort of just a I don't know normal kid growing up I uh, didn't really have much I have a path, if you like, structure. Uh, and then got, kind of got to high school at Lim High. And sort of, everyone sort of played rugby there, if you like. Like all my mates, all my age group, all my form. Um, and then through the age groups there, you kind of just progress and play in the team. And the year above me were really, like a really good team. Um, so it's something to like look up to, I guess, to aspire to, you know, the older boys who like, Love the gym, love rugby, love just like being around each other as well, I guess. And then from there, I wasn't really meant to like be a professional rugby player, if you like. Um, I meant to go to uni and then got contracted when I was about 17 last year, sixth form with Sale here. And then, yeah, just kind of threw my hat to it, if you like. Uh, so, what is it that you love the most about what you do for a living? Because over 250 games for the yeah. club, been at this club now, seems like an eternity. Uh, yeah, yeah. What keeps you motivated and driven? Um, I don't know. Everyone can be like motivated, I guess, if, if you think of it like that. It's the sense of that drive and that desire more than the motivation, you know, having like a, a focus, if you like. Mm. So, whether that be in the gym, on the field, your skills off the field, or well, skills to transfer onto the, onto the field if you like. Just keeping that like consistency and some of that repetition really and not getting bored of doing the shit things if you like. Yeah. So where does that where does that come from that would you say you were a creature of habit? Because you're in terms of uh, how often you're in the gym, the yeah, time you yeah. spend in there, the diligence, like the nutrition, yeah. everything. You're as good a pro as, as you're going to find anywhere, in any yeah. walk of life. So where do you think that diligence comes from? I think it was from when uh, I was younger, really. I kind of, as I say, I was just like a, a normal kid. And when I, I found the found the gym, it was something I could channel my energy into. Like, I was I was okay at uh, school. I wasn't, like, smart, like, brainy or right? But then... When I found like the gym and like it was something I could channel my energy into and like get better at, and I could see the progression in it. It's so obviously like you get stronger over time, but you need that consistency, that like um, that foundation, you know, to like keep going back and getting stronger and progress with it. It's not like something you can just do for like a one day a week or something. It's that relentlessness over and over again, which I quite enjoyed. Yeah. And how important is that for your mental well-being? Would you say? The, the importance of having that routine, training every single day, getting your nutrition yeah. on point, making sure habitually you're doing all yeah. the right things. Yeah, 100%. Um, so obviously you talk about it with the, the willpower battery, but for me it's like the opposite way. If I don't do that, then it goes down, if you know what I mean. So it's just things to tick off through the day. So say you get in, you do stretching, you do your, your uh, bolt-ons, stuff like that get into the gym, you use gym, train, and afterwards you recovery, but it's those ticking through the day, like, it's more if I don't do those, it's like, oh, I'm, you know what I mean, it's irritating. Yeah. So it's just getting into that mindset of, this works, find out what works for you, and it, it might change over time, like, what worked for me five years ago may not be the same now, so it's getting that, it's finding what works for you, just hammering it home consistently, that's consistency is the key for me, anyway. And where would you say that self-awareness comes from then? How long did it take you to, to develop that? Has it, has it taken years or is it something you've always had? Uh, it's kind of stuff that I picked from players, if you like. So, obviously, like, coming up, I had, like, uh, Sheridan, Fridge, Tony Buckley, you know, all these, like, legends who've been at sale, like, Peter Stringer, like, men of, like, diligence and, like, relentlessness, if you like, so... I like, to, I like to think of it as if I've taken a bit from each of them and try to take their best bits and go with them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. And learn, learn from like, learn from the best. Yeah. As such. 
So how important is it that you feel like you have mentors, a mentor or mentors in your life, people like that who, uh, who you can look up to, you can take things from and, yeah. and gain information from and then implement that yourself? Yeah, uh, 100% massive. Mm. Like, I think that's probably the most important thing, like like growing up especially from that like uh, high school life, having like, like PE teachers who you look up to. Like I can remember PE teachers like in school, like wanting to like impress them, like, you know, they're the, they're the guys who you look up to and that, um, that role model is is mass is massive in moulding the person you've become. For me, anyway. Yeah. So how how important do you feel now that as a senior player yourself, yeah. and with all that experience that you've got, that you can implement some of that wisdom and some of that knowledge to some of our younger fellas? Like you got Harps. Yeah. yeah. We have got Bev Rod now on his journey. Yeah. Uh, we've got some fantastic young lads coming through, and I know you spend so much time with them lads. Yeah. Uh, how important is it, do you feel, that those senior player, junior player connections uh, are formed and then the strength of those? Yeah, no, uh, it's massive, like, especially for me, because I learn off those, like, off those young lads, because they've got fresh new ideas as well. So it's keeping me up to date as much as them looking up to me, as if you like. Uh, and then them friendships as well, like, Bevan Harps, like, top, like, good lads, top lads, and people you want to be around and learn off and then see them doing well is like, it's brilliant, you know, for the club as well as for me personally. Yeah, you almost uh, share yeah, yeah, nice. like the success yeah. of those lads, don't you? You, like, you feel yeah. a bit of that. The way Bevan's just taken and gone is brilliant and it's something that like drives me to, to be better and catch up with them almost, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure one day <coughs> when they're going to be a few years down the line, they'll speak about people like yourself with great fondness because of the yeah. impact that you, you had on their careers. No, they yeah, definitely yeah. will. Yeah. I think it's so important that as a senior player that you take on that mentorship. mentorship. Yeah, no, Whether it's organic or not, I think yeah. you can have such an impact on those young players, yeah, can't cool. you? And we talk a lot about the importance of those relationships and the connections and the brotherhood here. Yeah. What do you think it means uh, to you personally to be a sales shark at this moment in time? Uh, good question. Um, it's just seeing where the club's like. I've been here for like 10 years and see where we've like scrapping out at the bottom for years and then where we've, we've progressed and the players that have come through the club and have gone and play, new players who have come through is, it's like, I don't know, it's such a long and like enjoyable journey that I look back on. But then at the moment where we are in the present is so exciting and like what we can possibly do is at our fingertips if you know what I mean it's something that we're in control of and we need to look look at, look at ourselves now and grow with it if you know what I mean yeah and you spoke about that journey there and it's almost yeah. sounds a bit cliche but the journey is the destination a lot of the yeah, time of you feel like you're striving towards winning things and it's a very outcome based sport but yeah. you can find so much enjoyment and, and joy in, yeah. in the journey can't you and a like big, I said the, those relationships a big thing like for me at the minute as well is like not looking at the past and, or, or the future like being present and like that control like <laughs> you can only affect what's right here and now so there's no point in looking each way just focus on the minute you know what I mean the moment you're in which is I don't know it's something that I've quite enjoyed like thinking about at the minute so 